Mr. Speaker, we're all too familiar with the details of Marilyn Levesque's grisly murder. Canadians are shocked to know that the government encouraged a murderer to obtain sexual services. We all need to understand how this happened. But having officials investigate other officials isn't good enough. Will the Prime Minister support our motion to have the Public Safety Committee investigate? I share the concern about this tragedy, as I think all Canadians do, and we want to make sure that we get the facts and we get to the bottom of this. And it's one of the reasons, Mr. Speaker, that we've asked the two uh, federal agencies involved to convene a board of investigation. That board of investigation, Mr. Speaker, will feature two external vice chairs, and it's been convened to examine the circumstances that led to this tragic event, and as well, we have made a commitment that their findings will be made public and transparent. Mr. Speaker, we encourage a thorough examination of all aspects of this, but I think it's very important to focus on what actually happened rather than make presumptions based on misinformation. A violent murderer was encouraged to seek the services of a sex worker. That is unacceptable, oh and a parliamentary committee has the right and the obligation to do its work to find out what happened. Here, here. Now, Marilyn Levesque did not deserve to die because of someone's decision like this. Today, the Minister of Justice introduced a bill to require new sexual assault training for judges, but it is silent on training for members of the parole board. Given recent events, will the government expand this training to ensure parole board members and parole officers receive similar training? The, the, the bill that was introduced today, I think, is a very important one, and I'm encouraged to hear of the, the, the member opposites and the party opposites' support for it. We believe that training is very important. And one of the things that will be examined in the investigation currently undertaken is to look at the policies, procedures and training currently available to all members who are involved in this activity. And so, Mr. Speaker, we do certainly support um, where training is, is required, that it be made available and that it be effective in ensuring such a tragedy does not occur again.